Hi there, it's Ben Housel here, and in this class I wanted to show you how you can use the flow transition to edit your dialogue in Final Cut Pro 10. So I create a lot of video tutorials where I'm talking to the camera like this, and one of the things that often happens is you need to edit out the ums and the ahs, and the flow transition allows you to do that without that little jump cut, and that's what we're going to dive into and have a look at now. So as we get started in Final Cut Pro 10, we can see that I've got a dialogue edit um, from an intro to another class that I've created, and essentially here what we want to do is try and avoid any jump cuts that we have, and we can use the flow transition to do that really effectively. So if we have a look at this cut here where I don't have a transition, right in the middle of my timeline here, you can see that on the edit there's a little jump cut, and if I hold down the K key and press L to move through that at third speed, you can really see that jump cut. So we're going to come to the transitions across on the right hand side here, and we're going to look for the flow transition. So if you go to all transitions, and type in flow in your search, you'll pop up with a flow transition. Now, if you right click on the flow transition, you can make it the default, which means that when you apply that transition, you can use Command and T to apply that transition, to apply that transition to different edits. So if you have a long dialogue to edit, then you might wanna have the flow transition as the default so you can quickly apply it. We're just gonna drag it on for the moment, and you can see instantly that once we now play through that, it's pretty much fixed that jump cut that we had before. So if we want to have a look at what the flow transition is doing here, we'll zoom in and I'm going to stretch this out a little bit more. So I'm going to pull my transition out. And what you can see is the transition is doing a warp from the first frame we enter in on here to the last frame. So if we make a very long flow transition, we get this strange kind of effect, which could be useful in some creative editing, but you can see the mouth is transitioning from this frame here to this frame here. So normally you'll want a nice short flow transition of just a few frames and that will fix that little jump cut. Okay, so that's a really quick fix for jump cuts in a dialogue in Final Cut Pro 10. And for me, it's one of the best tools in Final Cut Pro 10 for upping the quality of the intros to my video tutorials. I hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next tutorial.